Self-medication is not a permanent solution to any underlying mental illness. It creates a dangerous cycle of dependence and crashes. For me, it, it led to me not being able to leave my bed for days on end. I would avoid friends, school, work, and any kind of activity that involved leaving my room. Come on, Johnny, you gonna get up? Come on, do something, shower. Come on, are you serious? Get up, let's go. <sighs> you, you've missed like three, four calls from your mom. You gonna check it? Oh shit. Look, Johnny, I know you're really struggling right now, but this is no way to live, man. You know, you think next semester is going to be easier? This is just going to keep getting worse and worse. Listen, I... I think you should consider taking some time off school. What? I, I can't leave. Leave school? What? How, how am I supposed to get a job? I'm not going to graduate with my friends or anything like that. How, how can you even suggest that? <laughs> I, I, no, there, there, there's no way. No, there's no way. I can't go back. No, not no. I, I, I know it's a difficult proposition. But I, I don't see any way out of this, you know? Go get help. Alright? Look, I, I know it's, it's gonna be tough. I really do. I, like I said, I went through it. But... You know, you're going to be... So much better off. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll look into it. Man, I, I hope you're right. After much deliberation, we decided it was best for me to take a leave of absence. I was now back home, desperately searching for a cure to get me back. For months, my only friends were the fish. Swimmers, of course. What I would recognize later is that I had been suffering for a long time. Swimming was my medication and therapy. Once I stopped swimming, thinking it would help me sleep and feel better, I found medication elsewhere. On my road to recovery, I went through various prescription medications. 
One made me tinfoil hat paranoid. To the point where passing helicopters drew my suspicion. Another made me a zombie. I do not think I actually thought for a month. Nothing seemed like it would work. But after so much trial and error, so much failure, but with support from those around me, I woke up and I could see the world again. Snapping out of depression is a baptism of emotion. It's honestly hard to describe, but the numbness of the world suddenly sharpens. It's like, it's like putting on glasses for the first time if you're nearsighted. The world comes into focus. Slowly, I began working my way back to normalcy. I took a part-time job. I took classes. Even made a short film. There I am. I'm playing the killer in my own movie. That's how much of a narcissist I am, I guess. So then after three long semesters of being away, we'll put it that way, uh, yeah, I, I, I made it back and I realized tonight is my last night on campus as a student. You know, I graduate in a couple weeks, so if anything, I, I want to strongly emphasize that you are going to run into challenges in your life, into things that you think are insurmountable, you know, things that, oh, no way, I'll never get through this, but I hope you walk away from this knowing that I am a testament to getting back up on that horse, keep pushing through, because, you know, what do you, what do you got to lose? Not much.